today's firearm uh, we're going to go over is going to be a very unique um, firearm. The design is revolutionary and uh, it's very state of the art. Um, and in recent years, you haven't seen anything else like it. So, this here is the 1873 Colt Club. This is not the gun we're talking about. The gun we're talking about is the Chris Vector. Uh, the Chris Vector is a very unique design with the recoil system and it just looks like a gun from space. Um, as you see here, this is the civilian version. It's the carbine, the CBR, I believe is the, the number or the model number on it. It's got the 16 inch faux suppressor uh, pinned on top of that 16 inch barrel to kind of give it uh, some rigidity and um, some aesthetics. Uh, the gun itself, it also has a uh, collapsible stock, uh, side folding, just button on the other side, folds down, and uh, it'll fire from that position, so you can shorten it down quite a bit. You can uh, flip it open, and locks into place, and you're all set there too. Um, it runs off of Glock 21 mags. This here is a Glock 21 mag with their extension. It adds a 17 round extension on top of the already 13 round to give you the um, 30 shots. Uh, however, I can only get them loaded to 28. Uh, for some reason, you can't get those last two in. It's uh, damn near impossible. So that uh, we got that 30 shots of 45 ACP out of this carbine. The recoil assembly comes back and down, back and down. When you shoot, it just pushes back on you. It doesn't uh, try and climb up. There's no muzzle rise, and uh, this thing will shoot as fast as you can pull that trigger. It does a great job there. Um, on it, I have the uh, Spark 2, the Vortex Spark 2 red dot. Um, I'll do a little review on that on its own. It's a pretty cool little sight. Um, small, um, pretty nice, easy to dial in. So that's nice. Um, the Chris themselves come with the um, black diamond um, sights, as you see here. Um, these are the all metal ones, and they come on this, and they do a true co-witness. They do a good job on that, too. So The uh, other side of the gun, you have uh, it's ambi safety. Click it forward, and then uh, it's your bolt catch, bolt release, and this is your charging handle, non-reciprocating. Uh, handle it folds up and then stores back down so it's not in the way of anything the uh, gun itself takes down by just popping these pins they just push right out no tools necessary and the uh, upper comes off the lowers there and then you with this pin being popped the actual recoil assembly pops out down the bottom and uh, yeah and then this uh, here is a surefire um, Setup. It was an incandescent setup uh, when I got it. The uh, arms lever was missing and broken off of it, and it was incandescent and didn't have a functioning bulb. I have since got a new arms lever and a Surefire um, LED conversion. So now it's a 500 lumen light. It does have the red LED um, navigation lights and the bright white. That'll stay on there up until I get it SBR'd. Um, I think that's the main plan here. Vector does charge quite a bit of money to do the SBR for you. It's like $500, 550 something like that, plus the $200 tax stamp. So I might look into doing a Form 1 and uh, cutting it down and having uh, getting the cut down barrel threaded um, and all that stuff. So. We'll figure out uh, what the best plan is money-wise because uh, 150, 150 bucks compared to 500 is is uh, probably easier to swing. So we'll see. Uh, but for sure, there's going to be some Cerakote going on this. This is not going to just be this uh, all-black gun. It's going to get changed up here pretty quick. And uh, stay tuned. I'll do some update videos as we go. Thanks for watching.